hey what's up so in this video we are gonna see how to make a word chart counter in java so open the eclipse id and go to file create a new project yeah new java project name it whatever you want i name it word counter press enter now in the, our, our java project we have to create a class go to source and click right click and go to new and click on class name the class word count and don't hit the public static void main method and finish I will tell you later why I don't click on public static void main method so we have to create a graphical user interface so we have we need jframe so we simply extend jframe jframe in our work count uh, word count class so extend jframe and then we have to import jframe by java swing and now we have to add the labels and all the things as a variable so j label lb1 and lb2 semicolon and import j label so lb1 and lb2 is the name of j labels we need tool j labels so that's why we name it lb1 and lb2 now we have to write j text area and name it ta text area and then end it with semicolon now we have to import it and we also need a j button so j button b semicolon import j button we need three buttons so first of all first one is b and then second we write j button pad comma text so pad means pad color the text area color and the text means the button that we click that change the text color so i'll write now we have to make a constructor so name the class word count then bracket and then curly bracket and the curly bracket we give the heading of of the graphical user interface so write super and the bracket write the heading or the title so i write a character and word counter All right, end of this semicolon. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna set the size of the frame and the visibility true and the layout and all the basic things. So, site set size and in the bracket, 400, comma 400. So, first 400 means the x axis, the x axis from the 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 breadth of the j frame and the length so all right then set dot set layout in the bracket we will write null then set visibility set visible true so the j frame is uh, will be visible to us we can see it Alright, we have to write null here. Alright, the error is gone. Now we have to write 
set default close operation and in the bracket we have to write exit on close correct the spelling All right. So we are gonna, we gonna to the location of the J frame or our GUI. So right set location in the bracket. Locate it from x axis x axis to the y axis the first one is the x axis all right so our almost thing is done so we're gonna do the labels and the buttons all the things and the text area so first of all we will write label one equal new j label And the bracket we will write character in parentheses and then characters so it is our first level that we cannot show on our J frame or in our graphical user interface so we have to set the bounds so where we gonna show the label so we have to write lb1 dot set bounds so just simply do whatever I do in the video so in x we write 50 then 50 And then hundred and twenty. <clears throat> All right, so it's done. Now we have to set the level to equal new J level. And then in the bracket we're gonna write words. So the word is uh, the number of the word in the uh, sentence and the character means the number of word the number of alphabet in the sentence all right now we're gonna set the bounds of our label to just simply copy it now our labels are done mm, now we're gonna do the text area so ta equal new j text area And we also have to set the bounds of the text but uh, text area ta dot set bounds so bounds means the where the text area will appear in the uh, GUI or graphical user interface in the frame or in the in the frame all right So here x means from left to right in the j frame and y means from up to down so where 
you're gonna show the text area and width and height means the area of the text area now we're gonna do b equal new j button and in the bracket we're gonna do we're gonna write click so whenever we click on the button the characters and the words how many words and how many characters are in the sentence are gonna show in our labels so we will do that thing after some time first of all we're gonna do the basics basic things so b dot set bounds so we have also set the bounds of the button so where where the button will show in the frame all right the first button is done so the we will do the second button so pad equal new j text uh, new j button <coughs> in the bracket we will write pad color so the pad color means the text the text area color will change if we click on pad and select the color all right so change it to the greater c all right now we have to set the bound of the button pad all right dot set bounds just simply copy the steps <clears throat> and see the result at the end with me and if you have any problem just dm me in my my instagram id is in the description so go and follow me there also all right so in the last we're gonna do our text equal new j button so our text button in the bracket we're gonna give the title of the button equal text color so in the bracket we're gonna write text color so it's gonna show our button all right so now we have to set the bounds of the text button so text dot set bounds And if you want to make a simple graphical user interface video so comment down below I will also make that too and, and it is also very easy not so tough all right so it's done so what we're gonna do we're gonna implement the uh, uh, action listener so we have to implement action listener in our class so here after jframe we have to write implements action listener so action listener is a thing which gonna if we gonna click on the button so what the button will do it will help uh, we can do it with the action listener command so write action listener and then we gonna we have to import it import it so the error is gone now the error comes to the class so here add unimplemented method so in unimplemented method we gonna write our code for the button action listener all right click, click on the first one
so here we gonna see the action listener public wide action listener e is written so first of all we have to add action listener in what in which button so we have to write here add b dot add action listener this so whatever we gonna do in the uh, in the action listener constructor that gonna sh ha that gonna happen in the button so in the pad also we we gonna write p pad dot add action listener this and uh, after that to the text button also we have to do that so text dot add action listener this <coughs> in the bracket this all right so we have to now code uh, we have to also add the panels the j labels and all other things so we are gonna write add in the last we are gonna write add lb1 and then semicolon and then add lb2 and all the things lb2 and the text the pad and the button b and even the label also we added and the text area also all right so we added all the things to the action listener so we have to code in the action listener and everything gonna implement on the button that we added to the action listener command so we have to code in the action listener so if you don't know what is action listener go and learn something or comment down below i gonna make another video for that so here if and in the bracket we're gonna write e dot get source equal equal b so b is our click button so string text equal ta dot get text all right so lb1 dot set text and here we gonna write characters and after the that we gonna write plus sign and then text dot length so what gonna this code will do so whatever in the text area gonna show in the character level and the length of the text gonna show all right so here we gonna write a string words equal all right a uh, pair of bracket and then equal text dot
all right so lb2 equal lb2 dot set text and here we're gonna write words and then the same thing plus sign and then text dot length Alright, we now we have to code here else if no else if it we go we have to write else and the space and then if in the bracket we will write e dot get source equal equal pad then the one pair of curly bracket and here we will write the code color c equal j color chooser So get j color chooser dot show dialog. So j color chooser help us to choose the colors of the text area means pad color. So we gonna name this and then the title choose color and the initial color will be black. So in the initial color we will write color dot black so color is always be initial color will be black color dot black all right so ta dot set background c so the background of the text area will be C so whatever the color we will choose that will show in the text background text area background not the text background so TM is text area so the background color will be C so whatever we choose so initial will be the black alright so here we will write else if and the bracket E dot get source equal equal text and a pair of curly bracket so color c equal j Color chooser All right, we have to spell it right dot show dialog and then here we will write this in the title choose color and the initial color will be always color dot black all right so it's almost done so now down we have to write text dot 
ta dot set foreground so the foreground mean the text color so here we gonna try it see now we have to create a main method so that the main method is important and we don't create the main method first of all because we don't need that the main method at that time but we need main method now so here in after our uh, action listener method we will write public static void main and the bracket string args And then a pair of curly bracket all right so we have written strings so it will not string its string so correct it and here we will simply write our class name so new word count sorry char count new what our class name is all right new word count and then bracket and then semicolon so our main method is now gonna we gonna run it so we have to correct something so here we will change it word uh, text dot length to word dot length and in the bracket the slashes is in the opposite direction so correct it and now run it so our jframe is ready and we write it our channel name and my name also i ask khan in the next line we will write subscribe the channel if you haven't and also like comment share with your friend if you like the video now it's showing three words and 26 character so our frame is working and what counter is working all right now we're gonna change the text area color so we selected this and then we will change the text color also so we selected this color press ok and the text color is also changed so this is our video if you like it like the video comment down below what content i will make in the next video and share with your friend and most importantly subscribe the channel and press the bell icon too Thank you for watching this video. That's it for this video.